Hola, buenas gente. Un día más por aquí en las transmisiones especiales de Navidad. Que ya estamos a día 8 y solamente he hecho con estas cuatro transmisiones, o sea que la cosa va para largo. Me parece que no sé si llegaré a transmitir otra, otra aventura gráfica que no sea esta. Pero bueno, al menos vamos a intentarlo, aunque sea. Um... Por eso el teléfono. <risa> bueno, vamos a ver. Eh... Vamos a seguir con The Night of the Rabbit. Eh, ya llevo bastante, bastante tiempo. Bueno, bueno, tampoco tanto. Llevamos, puedo llevar cuatro horas, cinco como mucho. Por cierto que ya se arregló lo de que no funcionaba el botón eh, el botón izquierdo. Simplemente suerte que hubo una especie de auto guardado en, eh, durante el juego, al entrar en la habitación del enano, entonces claro, pues. Entonces parece que se, que se lleva a guardar. que no me ha guardado bueno, no sé si voy a hacer algo no creo que no creo que si no recuerdo mal nada más entrar empezó el diálogo y ahí se quedó ese huevo el juego o sea, en principio no cogí nada ni probé nada Or perhaps I had a visit from their granny. My mum always cleans our place then too. I mean, when our granny comes over. Not the wood dwarf's granny. We don't even know her. Aquí veo mucho para interactuar, pero... On this bed it says, soft steel. Logger, this bed is also empty. <laughs> Nobody can help me. The dwarf calls, nothing to sneeze at. Remember thank you gift for the badgers for the rhubarb pie. Hmm. I'll take that. The little sign says, Blue Juice Machine, a wood dwarf patent, reproduction prohibited. Nothing needs to be tapped from there. Nah, it's standing still. I probably shouldn't touch it. It even says so on the little plaque on the wheel. Better keep your paws off. Hmm, nothing. On the door it says, Premium Dwarf Root Storage. It also says, Hands Off. And it is firmly locked. That's an awful lot of tunnels. I wonder what the dwarves are hiding in there. The 
this won't help with a dwarf cold. It'll only make it worse. <laughs> Stay away from me. already thinks I'm a burglar, so I'd better not go breaking into their strong room. This won't help with a dwarf cold. It'll only make it worse. <laughs> Stay away from me. Original. I can smell that right away. Actually, we should be harvesting the dwarf roots. <laughs> but no wood dwarves, no harvest. No harvest, no dwarf roots. And without dwarf roots, no blue juice. <laughs> The snail did a good job sealing the envelope. I think I'd better let it go on its way now. Bye, shimmering snail. Oh, una casualidad, se me ha ocurrido ahí abrir el inventario. No lo había pensado antes. The dwarf already thinks I'm a burglar. That won't do any good. There, at last. I won't need the key anymore. I'll just leave it in the lock. Bueno, o sea, que eso me sirve para abrir este camino, básicamente. Um, that doesn't need to be spooned. Stamp made a zillion copies of the invitation. They hardly fit in my backpack now. I now have approximately one zillion invitations. Thanks, Magic. But who's going to deliver them all now? Could you deliver this for me? I would love to do that. But now my bike's got stuck here and there's nothing I can do about it. That means I can't deliver the mail. I've never been this late on my round. Vale, o sea que tenemos que descongelar primero la rueda de la bicicleta. This looks like a little flight of stairs, but the mushrooms will have to grow a bit before I can climb the tree. Hmm. Then I can investigate why it's snowing up there. I better be careful with this thing. That doesn't need any special spice.
Are you sure I can't help you somehow? Yes, I'm sure. <coughs> Nobody can help me. Although, except for one person, perhaps. Who would that be? Anya Mouse. Now that old Uli is gone, she's... <laughs> the... Only one? Exactly. She's the only one who can deal with illnesses. So let's go and ask her. This thing is it smells by one. a very bad case of dwarf cold. That's what I said. Really, really bad. Don't you worry. Old Uli taught me a remedy for this. Jerry, will you help me find a few ingredients for this poor dwarf? Um, of course. Oh, thank you. Here, take this recipe. <laughs> Gesundheit. Gesundheit. <laughs> I'll be in the cafe getting everything ready. The recipe is a list of things we need to get the poor guy back out to the root fields. And then at last we'll get some blue juice again. Steinberg. We'll have you back on your feet in no time. And now, I need to hurry back. I've got a delicious buttercup pie in the oven. To heal the dwarf, Anya needs a yellow marsh marigold bud, a fish scale, and some pepper. Well, I think I've yeah. I think I've seen it on the label of one of Mum's re- Just a sec! How can I help you? About the dwarf medicine. You found all the ingredients. Let's hope that old Uli's recipe is good for something. Oh, there's some pepper left over. Here. Uli's medicine has to be stirred into something liquid and then administered to the patient. And then there will be blue juice once again. And we're going to need lots of blue juice for the early treetop festival. About the dwarf medicine. Uli's medicine has to be stirred into... And then there will be... See you later. Take care. Vamos a ir al boli que lo tengo el café y el zumo azul este. Now, the last keg of blue juice. I better be careful with it. She said it should be stirred into a liquid and then drunk. My mug is empty. I should fill the mug with something first.
one hot coffee. Too bad I don't like coffee. There, I stirred in the medicine. I wonder if it tastes good like that. In mass reduce it to the cold, but it looks like... This won't help with a dwarf cold. It will only make it worse. <laughs> Stay away from me. Genial. I better keep the blue juice. There isn't very much of it. Vale, si traigo la la taza y la taza la taza vacía y la lleno aquí. La máquina de zumo, tal vez. Now my mug is empty. I'm sure my mug is an all-purpose weapon, but it won't help me here. Of course not. Mm, that smells good. There, I stirred in the medicine. I wonder if it tastes good like that. Smell something else too. Of course, it also contains dwarf cold medicine. Oh! <laughs> well, why don't you just take the mug? Ah, with a dwarf cold, it is impossible to move. If you weren't so clueless, you would know that. A wood dwarf is not an easy patient. My arms are so heavy. My legs are so heavy. <laughs> Even my lips are heavy. There, yeah, that's the way I always take my cough syrup. Here's some blue juice medicine to help with your bad dwarf cold. Say ah. Uh... Our blue juice, the original. Some colors already returning to your cheeks. And tomorrow we will see to the harvest. You should stay in bed. In bed. Stay in bed. Stay. 
sleep at last. No sore throat, no dwarf cold, and no dwarf cough. Exactly. Anya, you must go to Anya. <sighs> That's quite far away, you know. Take Tunnel 47. Tunnel 47? This one. What? Why didn't you tell me that before? Dwarf secret. You must go to Anya. Tell her thanks. Starting tomorrow, there will be... Starting tomorrow, there will be... Blue juice. Once... I did it! The dwarves are going to produce blue juice again and Anya can go ahead and prepare for the treetop festival. Now all I have to do is send out the invitations. You must be kidding! A shortcut? Couldn't somebody have told me that sooner? Extravagant. Welcome back. About the blue juice. How wonderful. Uli's medicine is bound to work. Customers have been asking for days when there'll be blue juice again. And we're going to need lots of blue juice for the early treetop festival. About the blue how one Uli's medicine is customers have and we're going to See you later. Take care. Vale, si a lo mejor cojo un café caliente y lo tiro encima de la rueda del, de la rana esta, a lo mejor le descongela uh, la rueda. Supongo. A ver, voy a probar. One hot coffee. Too bad I don't like coffee. Uh, my coffee's cold. Yeah. Voy a tomar el atajo, tal vez. Now my mug is empty. One hot coffee. Too bad I don't like coffee. A ver si ahora llega tiempo. Antes de que se fríe. Here comes Anya's piping hot coffee. You're not just gonna pour it on the ground, are you? Anya's coffee is wood famous and so good. Her? We're going to use it to free your bike. We are? In that case, what are you waiting for? It worked! See, Plato? Thank you, Jerry. Now I can finally get back in the saddle and deliver the mail. I heard you would like to send out invitations. Yes. I'm supposed to send invitations for the Treetop Festival to all the citizens of Mousewood. Really? 
That's a lot of invitations, but friends are supposed to help each other out, and you've already helped me out more than once. I'll be waiting for you here. Bring me your invitations and I'll distribute them for you. Thanks, Plato. No, no, I need to thank you. You helped me even though you didn't know me. You're a true tree walker. Her? Could you deliver this for me? That's a lot of invitations. But friends are supposed to help each other out. And you've already helped me out more than once. Her? I'd better get going. There's so much to do. Like I always say, a single hop is not that hard. And many hops in a row can get you anywhere. But we could use my bike as well. Your bicycle? Sure, if you want to travel faster through Mousewood and its surroundings. Just call on me, then I'll give you a ride on my mail bike. Just use this clicker frog with one of the golden post horns that you find everywhere in Mousewood. Whenever you're in a hurry, just sound its legendary call. Then I'll come flying by on my fateful bike and take you wherever you need to go. Flying? Riding, I mean. Wow, thank you. But I won't do this for just anyone, so keep it to yourself. <laughs> and where would you like to go now? Woohoo! Hello, Jerry. Well, where to? Mm. Vale. Pues la verdad es que no tengo ni idea de a dónde ir. Let's go. Hang on tight, Jerry. See you later. We still have a lot to do. We, we still have to. Ah, that'll be fun. Oh, but Mike, sure. yeah, yeah. Bueno, tendría que ir a, al ayuntamiento, ¿no? A decirle a esta gente que ya que ya lo he hecho todo, al principio. Jerry, you have sent the invitations and ordered the blue juice, and in doing so, you have healed a dwarf, rescued little Ursula, and experienced much more. You are indeed developing into a genuine tree walker. Now we will begin with the magical part. And then comes the treetop festival. We're looking forward to the blue juice, so hurry up with your training, Nestling. Ever since I can remember the treetop festival has been held here once a year. Ooh. It serves to celebrate kindness, family, and courage, and most definitely not magic. Isn't it now? Go forth, young hazelnut. What is this place? The Hall of Apprentices. A living place, created by magic. Hidden between two moments in time. <sighs> but is it supposed to be so cold in here? I feel it too. It seems that no one has been here for far too long. And even in Mousewood, almost no one remembers us. Only the elderly. How long has it been since you were last here? <laughs> Too long, it seems. It's up to us to keep the tradition alive. The Hall of Apprentices is a place of transition. Your training begins here, today, and it will end here. Everything takes place under the protection of the first tree. The first tree? Is it this one? That is only a statue. The first tree. 
is the oldest tree in this region. It watches over the woods, over the portal trees. It holds this world together. Trees like it are so old that they already exist in other spheres. Their roots reach into dreams, into fantasy. So where is the first tree? You may have already visited it in your dreams, but the clearing in which it stands is concealed. The paths which lead there are hidden, like this room. Once your training is complete, I will lead you to the clearing. That is the tradition. But first, you must finish your training. And to do that, to do that, we must get this thing working. First tree. Why is this all stuck? It was working just fine the last time. Creepy the way they stare at you. I wonder who they all are. It's kind of creepy the way they stare. I wonder who they all are. Where is that light coming from? That isn't the sun, is it? That's impossible. The first tree. Somehow this stone tree radiates something very good. We must hurry. It must belong to that machine. No idea what that is, but there are two of them. like Mum's new hairdryer. Yes, yes, very funny. But now I have to make this work. So don't bother me, okay? Sure thing. Has There's so a ball much stuck in the glass really tube. Passed? It doesn't quite fit. I can't get the ball out that way. I can use that to call Plato at one of the Golden Post horns. Then he'll whisk me away on his bike. Vale, es la que tengo que sacar eso de ahí. I can't get the ball out that way. I can't get the ball out that way. Why is this all stuck? Looks like Mum's... Yes, yes, very fun. But now I have to... So don't bother me. Okay. Sure thing. Let's see if it's as easy as fishing change out of the gutter. Le podían decir que la bola es de metal, porque vamos. Cold, round and magnetic, fits well in the hand. Fits. Hmm, not bad at all. But the thing still won't work. Now let me get back to work. It was working just fine the last time. <sighs> ah, it works. Wonderful. Ah, you did a great job. The electromagical apparatus is uncoupled from the flow of time. It processes information from the past and future and prints it out in pictures on cards pressed on the leaves of portal trees. There. May I take them? Of course.
These 16 cards can already tell you a lot about your training, if you understand how to read them. But these cards are like dreams. Everyone should interpret them for themselves. Hmm, unusual. Another card. What does it show? That's me. Extremely unusual. What could that be? Ooh! Somebody's floating there. That's a... a ghost. A ghost, Jerry? <laughs> I don't think so. Or have you left your body behind for good this time, magician of Mousewood? I can feel my leg going numb not far from here. No, I appear to have retained my body. Even if it isn't getting any younger, and its scars are itchy. Tell me, Marky, how did you escape? Escape, magician? I bring an apprentice. I'm pleased to see you, and to know that the Hall of Apprentices is protected. Hmm, so you are bringing an apprentice. Tell him he shall visit me in my house. What does the floating man want from me? He's the guardian of the portals. Your training begins. Take the key, Jerry. You must visit the magician of Mousewood. It won't be easy to wake him, but soon after, you'll learn your first spell. to the key which the ghost lost in the Hall of Apprentices. Behind the door, you'll meet an old friend of mine. See you soon. Ah, supongo que la llave será para la puerta esa que hay. No, esa no sé, entonces, esa... Que tiene, digamos, eh, runas o algo así, eh, cinceladas. Es esperar que sea esa. Yikes! The key just is off into thin air, but now the door is open. What sort of place is this? Everything is so huge. It's enough to make you dizzy. This is a picture column from the Hall of Apprentices. Oh, where did that voice come from? It sounds familiar. In the Hall of Apprentices, there is a column for every apprentice who was trained here in these woods. But this one here was spat out by the Hall a long time ago. I found it deep in the woods. Now I'm trying to unravel its secret. Banishment by the Hall caused the picture to burst into 32 magic drops of dew, which are now spread all over Mousewood. Those who are able to understand the whisper of the rocks can ask the column itself how many drops are still missing. If someone collected all 32 drops, the dew could form the image of the expelled apprentice. That sounds exciting. A huge abandoned train station. Te juraría sí que que sí que he visto por ahí gotas. Recuerdas que no se podía interactuar con ellas en principio. 
supongo que esperaban a, a este momento. Gigantic living room for a child. Hmm. Although seeing as I'm the size of a mouse, maybe it's not so big after all. I wonder who lives here. Ugh. It smells a bit like old socks in here. Oh, somebody's sleeping there. That's probably the friend I'm supposed to wake. Hmm. Hey! Nothing. There's also a bedroom for little people. A giant chunk of chocolate! I also took the tin foil. Still smells okay. This is high. I'll take that. We have a plant like that at home too. Too bad, I can't move the stick with my hands. Otherwise it would reach for the clock. That doesn't need to be spooned. Um, that doesn't need to be spooned. Good idea. Uh oh. <laughs> I'd say that worked pretty well. It's enormous! When it rings, it must make a humongous noise. Like that's the thing that goes cuckoo. It smells like my model train. I'd better not touch it with my bare hands. Vale, pues la servilleta que acabo de coger, a ver. Now the cookie should have a voice again. Oh, something fell out of the clockwork. Well, uh, it is probably not an important part. It almost looks like a key, but I don't think you can lock anything with it. That's gigantic. Wow, 
That was loud. Let's see if it woke the giant. Oh man, he's still asleep. Hey, wake up! Oh, 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 dash it all. Uh-oh, I, I didn't mean for that to happen. Oh, oh. Uh, hello? <coughs> I, uh, I, I was just trying to repair your clock so I could... Did your teacher tell you to do that? No, no, no. Why would he? Old magician of Mousewood. I see my apprentice has... Uh... Did you put him up to that? No, really. Oh, all right. Ow, oh, my head. Wait one second. I bid you welcome, Jeremiah Hazelnut. So, you are the rabbit's new apprentice. A tree walker in the making, indeed. So you aren't a ghost? No, not really. Haru Molina, the magician of Mousewood, is a master of active sleep. When he sleeps, his waking spirit goes wandering. Wow, that's cool. Perhaps one day, he can instruct you in his own. Haru, no one has spoken that name in a long time. Yes, it has been a long time. A very long time since an apprentice has been trained in Mousewood. Really? That long? We should make ourselves somewhat more comfortable, old friend. Young Hazelnut, I hear that you have already proven yourself as a tree walker in Mousewood. Your next test will be to pass the four portals of Mousewood. Behind each of the portals, you will learn a spell. Wow, that sounds exciting. But first, there is something you need to return. What's that? Pardon me, but I think you have my book. Oh, yeah, the mouse with the backpack gave it to me. Thank you. It is very valuable to me. Now, I would like to write one about you. I collect stories, you know. Who was that? Oh, he seemed familiar to me. I can't recall why. Only a wood sprite. A close acquaintance of mine. Oh. You should rest, Jerry. This has been a long day for you. Rest for a little while. If you say so. I... I... Hmm. And he's asleep. Old friend, what in all the worlds are you doing here? I am training a tree walker. That is not what I meant. I say this in all friendship. It is impossible for you to be here, believe me. <laughs> Nothing is impossible. <sighs> you slept all night. Yeah, but not too well. I miss my bed. Be brave, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Magicians have to be strong. Your next test will be to pass the four portals of Mousewood. Behind each of the portals, you will learn a spell. Okay. From now on, you can switch back and forth between day and night by sleeping in a hammock or reading this magic book. Cambiando el día y la noche usando el icono del libro con el sol y la luna a la derecha del inventario, vale. It can enthrall you for hours, making time appear to pass in an instant. Return to the portal tree through which we came to Mousewood. There you will learn your first spell. I'm sure you already have your cards, don't you, Jerry? Yes. 
Do you know how to play quartets? Yep. Uh, no. I will show you. Take your seats. You can use the magic cards from the Hall of Apprentices to play a game. Here in Mousewood, the game is known as Quartets. This game consists of 32 cards belonging to eight quartets, or families, and of course, four cards per quartet. If you do not yet have 32 cards, the other player will lend you some to make your deck complete. The goal of the game is to obtain as many complete quartets as possible. Every player starts with 10 cards. The 12 remaining cards lie concealed in the stack and will be picked up later. Choose a card. It's your turn. You now get to ask for one of the other player's cards, but only cards from quartets where you own at least one card yourself. First pick the family and then the card. One, two, three or four for which you want to ask. Let's see. Vale, un juego de cartas, a ver. Vale, de esta tengo una. De esta tengo dos. De esta otras dos. De esta dos. Una. Y dos. This card. Bet you've got it. If the other player doesn't have the card you asked for, then you draw a card from the stack, and it's the other player's turn to ask for one of your cards. If the other player has the card you asked for, then you receive the card and get to keep asking. So you see, it's important to remember which cards you've already asked for, and which cards the other player has taken from you so far. This will allow you to predict with some certainty what cards are in the other player's hand. The better your memory, the better your chances of winning. Remember, you can play with those cards, but their true worth does not lie in gambling. Still, I wish you luck. I was so sure that would work. Draw a card. Opponent's turn. Opponent asks for a card. Draw a card. Choose a card. This card, I bet you've got it. Excellent! Let's see. This card, I bet you've got it. Just you wait. Draw a card. Opponent's turn. Opponent asks for a card. 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 Opponent's quartet. Opponent asks for a card. It's your turn. Let's see. I'm sure you've got this card. Nope, you don't. Again? Oh. Draw a card. Opponent's turn. Opponent asks for a card. Opponent's quartet. Opponent asks for a card. Opponent's quartet. Opponent asks for a card. Draw a card. It's your turn. I'm sure you've got this card. Very well. Got a quartet. Let's see what card you've got there. I'm sure you've got this card. 
I was so sure that would work. Draw a card. Opponent's turn. Opponent asks for a card. Draw a card. It's your turn. This card. I bet you've got it. Very well. Let's see what card you've got there. I'm sure you've got this card. Nope, you don't. Again. Draw a card. Opponent's turn. Opponent asks for a card. Oh no. Opponent asks for a card. Draw a card. Choose a card. This card. I bet you've got it. Ha <laughs> ha. Got a quartet. Let's see what card you've got there. I'm sure you've got this card. Just you wait. Draw a card. Got a quartet. Game over. Too bad. You lose. Ooh, this isn't so easy. Here in Mousewood, people like to play cards. If the people of Mousewood see your cards, they will be very eager to play with you. You can also find additional secret cards, such as this. But that's Mum. Indeed. Remember, there are four cards in each quartet, just as there are four portal trees inseparably connected. This star map can show you where they lie. Your mother is the second card in your quartet. And the other two? You will understand my words soon enough. And then, then, everything will change. Vale, a ver. Hmm. Return to the portal tree through which we came to. There you will learn. Is it really okay for me to be away from home for so long? On a day in summer vacation, anything is possible. I promise you that you'll be back in time for dinner. Are you ready to trust me, Jeremiah Hazelnut? What if I need help? With the Advice Seeker, you can enter into contact with me through your thoughts, and I will give you a hint that you will hopefully find help. I'll get back to work then. You have so much still ahead of you. <laughs> I envy you. But there isn't much time, so hurry, Jerry Hazelnut. Sounds like they really enjoy their work. No, no, you have to take carpentry seriously. First, you have to sketch and measure. Or you can just jump right into it. Be spontaneous. It helps. With a saw, hammer, nails, paint. But only after you have everything planned out. Otherwise, it will come to nothing. But that way, you plan out all the fun. If it's not fun, why do it? I don't mean totally without fun. 
Oh, no. Even if you're really serious about it, you can have fun every once in a while. Especially when you can work with somebody like you, but you put that so nicely. Days where everything goes wrong, don't you often wish that someone had a cure for I bet mouth will be soon in a whole lot of cure. Huh? We have a mind. We will be the solution. Sure. Strange guy. Feathered enemy eat all your savings? Sometimes you just need to find the right stranger to make all your money problems disappear. And then all it takes is your signature. Just your signature. Huh? We have arrived. We will be the solution. Okay. Wait. Disfrazados. A ver dónde era el árbol donde empezó a ah, porque. Come to us, Jerry. Oh, how did they get here so fast? Jerry, behind this portal lies another world. Strange to us, but home to you. There you must learn your first spell. That is our tradition. How exciting! This time we will open the portal for you. Seek the ancient toad we saw at the foot of the portal tree. It is old. I have seen in your cards that the toad will keep a spell ready for you to learn. Probably. Arrow! Stick to your script. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, <clears throat> good luck, young apprentice. Well then. Oh! Home again. Oh, I was sort of afraid I'd come out somewhere odd. Everything is suddenly so small and normal. What? Well, warm and normal. Has the toad really always sat there? I've climbed around on these stones so many times. Oh man. No woodpecker. It's a... Uh... uh, hello? Mm. Ah, the sound of the wood. Such a beautiful sound. So peaceful. So. It's sound asleep and talking in the sleep. Wow, it's huge. It feels like my head can't decide if it's here or not. I guess that's the coins doing. Ever since I looked through it, I see things differently. The portal of the mouse was closed. Who would have thought the old path tree could do something like that? Hmm, path tree? Maybe in the olden days, someone actually knew about the portal.
I have to be careful or the chocolate will melt in my hand. Again, that's what Mum always says. Uh, hello? Mm. It sounds... Wow, it feels like my... I guess that's ever since I looked. Hmm. One of my books says that mushrooms only grow near entrances to the realm, but it also says that fairies can be really... I... Ah, everything is just as it used to be. Huh, reassuring. The great Zara experienced the greatest delusionist of our time. That's the same poster I took from the trunk. Who put it there? Strange. The great Zara. Clairvoyant illusionist, coming soon to a theatre near you. When and where? Strange. Hello up there. I have to be careful of it, that's what Mum always says. Obviously, I don't speak woodpecker. What are you trying to tell me, bird? What? Hey, why are you looking at me like that? I have a sinking feeling I said something wrong. Oh well, at least it's quiet now. No comics, magic messages, or even pink letters from annoying pen pals. I already raided my secret stash. Too bad. Hmm, strange. I'd say it was a mysterious, long ex Ever since I became a so much expert. Uh, my school stuff is in there waiting. But, uh, at least until luck, and it's free. Ah. Oh. Mum must have gone shopping. I wonder what time it is. I don't want to miss dinner. looks so grey again today. When I was young, there was nothing but fields here as far as you could see. No, but seriously, since they built the supermarket next to school, only two days. Now that's an even... Uh, although, that but means there's still yeah. two days of adventure now. Maybe show a Sleep. Wow, it feels like my head can't just. 
I guess so. Ever since I'm... The Owl's Wall. It worked. The portal to Mousewood is crossed. Who would have thought it was a tree? A cuckoo. It sounds so Silver foil won't help here. Silver foil won't help here. Maybe the clicker frog will appeal to it more than my voice. The call of a friend. No. It's only a dream. The song of the woods drowns out everything. So peaceful. So. Hmm. Looks like it didn't quite hear the cake frog because of the song of the woods. The atmosphere here in the woods is very calm. Uh. Uh. Ah, o sea que tengo que dejar que dejar que dejen de eh, pillar los pájaros. A cuckoo. It sounds so. That one. That one. Just a little bit. Oh man, now my ears are ringing. Anyway, the sneeze seems to have chased away most of the birds in the neighborhood. Vale. Eso sí, nos ha oído estornudo. But the toad still sound asleep. Maybe the clicker frog will appear. The call of a friend. No. It's only a dream. The song of the woods drowns out everything. So peaceful. So... Hmm. Looks like it didn't quite hear the click frog because of the song of the woods. The atmosphere here in the woods is very calm. Uh. Uh. Crickets in the distance. Vale, grillo. ¿Cómo consigo ahora que se caiga, que se calle el grillo? I don't think sleeping drops will help me here. Hmm. 
No, that doesn't belong in my cake. No, that doesn't belong in my cake. No, that doesn't belong in my cake. Crickets in the distance. I have to be careful of the chop. That's what Mum will. Not again. Crickets in the distance. Rose hips are cool, but disappointingly useless. A stick won't help here. A stick won't help here. Sparrow used to live in that nest. Hmm. Maybe. Hmm. Nothing. Nothing on right now. I think I can hear a cricket chirping in the barrel. Such a rat in the middle of the day. Unbelievable. <laughs> That'll take care of it. There. <laughs> now it's quiet. Vaya, quien hubiera dicho. Almost too quiet. Yeah, I chased off the cricket. Mm. Almost too quiet. Disturbs the peace of the woods. I am, um, uh. Ah, human child. Let me listen to the world a moment longer. Just a few months. Just a few years. Listen. Listen. To the streams of time. Uh, I don't mean to bother you, but... <laughs> Understand. All this means little in the streams of time. So, we've basically been neighbours all these years, and haven't met. And in all those years, you have not... You have not listened. Go, human. Let me listen to the streams of time. If you try to resist, it will erode you. Break you down. It's not all that talkative. Uh, hello? I'm Jerry Hazelnut, mighty magician. <laughs> Understand. All this means little in the streams of time. The streams of time? The streams of time. Once you learn to pause, to wait, and to listen, then you will sense 
how they flow around you, the rock. I can hear the whispering. The whispering of the rocks? The rock. It hears if you learn to hear and to listen. As you listen to me, it can reveal to you what the streams of time have carried past it. Come closer so that you can learn how you can hear the voices of the rocks. Pido un hechizo. Para usarlo, abre el inventario y haz clic en el hechizo Susurrar Rocas, al lado de la varita mágica. Vale. The voices of the woods. They sound more mournful since my last awakening. Perhaps this is my last awakening before I become one with the streams of time. Ah. This world is changing. The world whispers to me of your fate. The path which you have taken will show you the meaning of horror. Beware. Beware. Yet it also holds joy. If you find that which you do not even know you have lost, let me listen to the world a moment longer. Just a few years. Listen to the streams of time. fell asleep. Horror? And find something I don't even know I lost? Hmm. I wonder if Mum is back from shopping. It feels like ages since I saw her. Be brave, Jeremiah Hazelnut. Magicians have to be strong. Whoa! Jerry, you did it! You've learned to hear the whispering of the rocks and stones. With this, you can listen to any stone that has been given a face. <laughs> An excellent first spell. Now try it on this crystal statue. The spell is on your magic wand. Take it and point it at the statue. Uh, está? Did somebody just call my name? It begins. The first nail has been struck. What does that mean? I will explain everything to you in good time. I must consult with a magician of Mousewood. You know where to find us, or contact me with the Advice Seeker if you need my help. Seek the entrance in the next portal tree. You will learn your next spell there.
But you will have to open the next portal tree without my help. Look for the magical creature who lives in Mousewood. You have already met one of them, a little man in green. Your cards tell me that you will learn another spell from him. But to do so, you must ask him to open the portal to his home for you. For only there can he teach you his spell. Little man in green. Oh no, he's probably still hopping mad at me. Vale, entonces habrá que ir a buscar al leprechao que este que estaba incordiando a los erizos esos. Bueno, voy a ir cortando por aquí que me parece que ya llevo cerca de una hora y media de transmisión. Eh, además tengo que hacer algunas cosillas. Voy a empezar a ir a buscar todos los eh, adornos de Navidad al trastero que va a llevar su tiempo. Y bueno, lo voy a ir dejando por aquí como digo y si hay alguien por ahí por el chat pues nos vemos eh, otro día o más tarde, no sé si me tengo que poner un poco las pilas con este juego, si no, lo dicho, no voy a poder conseguir transmitir más que una aventura gráfica. Hombre, pff, no sé, estoy por mirar, aunque sea una guía, a ver más o menos por dónde voy, si me falta mucho, no mirar ningún truco ni nada, ni ninguna pista, pero por saber si, si queda mucho. Pero vamos, tampoco creo que quede mucho más. Bueno, quedan ahí... Como si todos los portales que hay que abrir son igual de cortos como este, no sería mucho tiempo. Pues nada, lo dicho. Eh, si hay alguien por ahí, nos vemos más tarde. Bien, hasta luego.